Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax Pets here. I'm excited for this unboxing from Bugs in Cyberspace. This one went by FedEx overnight. Pretty sensitive species, so overnight is definitely the best way to go, especially in this situation. Okay, well, I'm, I've been really excited for these too. These particular stickers are uh, something I've been waiting for for a long time. I'm going to make sure I open this without damaging anything, including myself. I don't want to cut my fingers. It's a very good way to keep the stickers protected. Hopefully I don't make a mess of it. These are so cool. I couldn't resist just getting two of them because they're so gorgeous. And if I put one somewhere... I really want to put another one somewhere else, so I just had to get two Pseudo-Scorpion stickers. As you know, if you've been watching my other videos, I keep Pseudo-Scorpions. And uh, Jesse at Shapes in Nature, also with uh, Bugs in Cyberspace and Sh Sky Island Adventures, creates these beautiful stickers and a lot of other stickers and t-shirts and, and so on. So if you haven't checked out Shapes in Nature, uh, you can do that. And uh, also some of his uh, Jesse stickers are available at Bugs in Cyberspace. So really excited about these. Now, I'm just going to check and make sure that this is packing material. There's a heat pack down there, which is plenty warm. And I believe this is all just packing material. I'll make sure. Always good to, to check. Yep, the only thing remaining in the box is... Now the heat pack down there at the bottom, and it's still warm. So, excellent. And now, the moment I've been waiting for. I had to stop for a moment. An airplane was coming by, and then the vacuum started. But it's actually kind of good, because I noticed that there are two deli cups in here. So, let's open this one first. Argoporus or Argoporus, not sure exactly how to pronounce it, but I love these little guys. We found one or two of these when I was at Sky Island Adventures, and if you haven't checked out those videos, make sure you do. I have a three-part series of my visit from last summer at Sky Island Adventures, and booking is going to be opening any day now. So by the time you see this video, it's probably already open, so go to bugsandcyberspace.com and check it out if you want to have your own Sky Island Adventure. So, one thing I love about these, these are a little darkling beetle. They're adapted to live in the desert. And they're called red-legged tenebrionids is the common name, but agroporus or agroporus is the scientific uh, name, the genus anyway. I don't know exactly how many are in here, so I'm going to check that out. But these are fantastic. They're out and about all the time, super active. And I have one that looks just like this one. And I'll... I'll be extremely happy to have another one just checking in there um, you never know and I'll, I'll check this more thoroughly later but um, these are a fantastic little beetle so thank you Peter for sending these Peter always hooks me up I can't recommend bugs in cyberspace highly enough they're just uh, Peter and Jesse have always been fantastic to me so they will treat you right and these little guys are fantastic so let's put this one in the enclosure with the other uh, beetles and velvet in. All right, let's put this little red-legged tenebrionid into the large enclosure. And before we unbox the jumping spider, I just want to give a shout out to my patrons at Patreon. I really appreciate all that you do. You probably don't even understand how much your support helps me do what I do. I love to share what I learn about all the creatures we share this planet with. And I'm constantly learning and, and I want to continue to, to share with you. And one of the best ways to help me do that is by supporting me on Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. So if you would like to do that, just check out the link that I always put at the end of the video and in the description. Thank you again. And let's unbox this jumping spider. Now this is a Phidippus regius, 
or Regius. Some people say Regius, some people say Regius. I'm not sure if this is a male or female yet. We'll have to look. It looks like it's not fully grown. But just by looking at it, I'm thinking it's probably a female, but it's a little harder for me to tell when they're not mature. Let's get a closer look at this little one. Oh, I love their little faces. When I don't have a Phidippus, I always miss them. They're so gorgeous. And no matter what color, whether it's a male or female, it doesn't really matter. They're just beautiful. They're inquisitive. You can see this little one's checking out the world. Doesn't seem particularly concerned. One thing about the males and the females, oh, she's just going to crawl on me or he, I'm not sure yet, but yeah. I'm going to get a little friend right away. Love it. Oh, maybe, maybe a little bit less. Oh, no, no, I am going to get a little friend right away. That's going to take a dive right off my hand. I tried to make sure my hands were clean because um, smells like hand sanitizer and whatnot can really upset them. They, they smell through their feet, essentially, the chemoreceptors. And so any, any unusual smells that are too strong can make them uncomfortable. This is a beauty. Just jumped onto the, the uh, tripod of the camera. <laughs> okay, this, this little one jumped onto the camera, uh, jumped onto the tripod, and I had to retrieve it. And now I would like to show you this spider's new enclosure and uh, we'll, we'll get it going. I have two enclosures here that are really good for Phidippus regius. You can see on the uh, left I've got the tarantula cribs uh, medium tree house for arboreal tarantulas as well as jumping spiders. And I've got on the right here, this is a big fat fids spider condo. Both great enclosures. I wasn't sure what the size of the spider would be. If it were a smaller spider, I would be putting it in the enclosure on the right. And once it is bigger, I was going to put it in the left enclosure. And this spider is big enough. It's not fully grown, but big enough to go into the left enclosure. So I'm going to put it in the tarantula cribs enclosure. As you can see, I have very bright light. There's an LED strip right above it which warms the temperatures a few degrees, makes a, a temperature gradient a little warmer near the top of the enclosure. Not a lot warmer since it's LED light, but makes it a little warmer. It also uh, makes it brighter. Uh, Phidippus regius, as with others in the genus, Phidippus really appreciate some bright light to kind of activate them, make them comfortable. Um, it's really good for them. So we're going to let this little spider um, make itself at home in here. Looks like it's not going to waste any time doing that. And I'll shut that down and see if I can get a better close up. Just making itself completely at home. Perfect. They tend to build their little web hammocks up near the top of the enclosure. So it may be scoping out a potential site for that or may just be taking it easy and taking in its surroundings for a little while. The females often tend to put their palps right in front of their chelicerae, is from what I understand. And so this may be a female, that's what it's doing. But again, it's a little young. I'm not entirely certain at this point. She does seem a little bit apprehensive about the camera, but I'm sure she'll settle down. Or he or she will settle down with time just want to thank you for watching today. I post videos every Friday with live streams on Wednesdays, all on aquarium and vivarium pets of various types. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for notifications all so you don't miss my next video.